All right, so today we are going to be taking on the most free-to-play friendly of the new Extreme Super Battle Road stages because the entire category is literally free-to-play. I mean, I guess until we eventually get that Dokkan Fest Ginyu, which I think is definitely going to happen at some point. But for now, it's a fully free-to-play category, and as long as you have all the members Extreme Z Awakened, you should be good to go. Now, with that said, I still think it's going to be somewhat of a challenge. I think there will be some scares in there, but ultimately, uh, we got this. So with that said, let's jump right in here and uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so we got Birder, or sorry, not Birder, we got Jace, Raccoon, and uh, Guldo in the first rotation. Uh, I kind of forgot exactly what each of these guys do after the Extreme Z Awakening, but I think Raccoon is the most tanky, so we're going to put him there. Although that's a lot of Krillin attacks. Actually, no, it's just one Krillin attack and mostly Gohan attacks, so we should be okay, actually. So let me pop an Icarus to start things off. And uh, obviously, we'll go for Gohan, so let's... Uh, mm, should I keep Goldo, though? I think I should, because he has the high chance to stun, but at the same time, Jace can see super attacks, which is really, really clutch. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna keep Jace, man, because the ability to see super attacks is just way too important, so what I'm probably gonna do is just uh, float Guldo, or maybe put him in the other rotation. Yeah, because I do want to keep him too. I want that chance to like consistently stun as well. So, yeah, we'll probably do Jace on this rotation and then Guldo on the other rotation. That makes sense. All right, so let's get a stun here. These guys are getting some really good attack stats, by the way. And we did get the stun on uh, Krillin, which is awesome. So, on this turn, we have the double LR Ginyu's. Um, wait, who's can use better? Looks like the friend has a little bit more attack. Let me see his skill orbs. Uh, oh, level 5 attack. Damn. <laughs> okay, okay. So, we will put the friend in the first slot. Let's go for Krillin. And obviously going to keep attacking Krillin. And uh, hopefully we can finish off Krillin with these double Ginyu attacks. Yeah, this, uh, this team is actually very legit with the Extreme Z Awakening. I mean, these guys are putting up these kind of attack stats with 100% leaders, right? So if you had like a 170% lead, they're all getting close to, if not over, 2 million attack stat. And for a fully free-to-play team, that's just really, really impressive, guys. Okay, so there is a super attack coming. It looks like it's from Gohan, so... I'm definitely going to put uh, Raccoon in that first slot. And we did run out of the item. Is he going to be able to take a super without any damage reduction is the question. I'm a little bit concerned, but Raccoon's defense is actually pretty high now, so maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. These could be my my last words. <laughs> okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a risk it. Screw it. So we're gonna go for Krillin because we're probably gonna kill him, and uh, hopefully things work out. Because I I don't want to use another item at full HP. We have type advantage. We have 150k defense. Oh wow, that was a good call. Holy crap, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> That's actually crazy. The fact that he only took double digits without any items active. With no item effects. So, hold on. Did this stage come out before um, the Extreme Z Awakenings were a thing on JP? Because if that's the case, then it makes more sense that, you know, it, it, the, the difficulty level was scaled down a lot to account for the lack of Extreme Z Awakenings. Oh, okay, that was still quite a bit of damage. 
that was still quite a bit of damage. But yeah, uh, I'm curious to know, like, I, I, I didn't look this up, but did the extreme super battle stages, like these ones, come out on JP before the Ginyu Force had an extreme Z Awakening? Because if that's the case, then it definitely explains why um, these enemies don't hit nearly as hard as I feel like they, they should be, you know? Like, I was expecting to take still like 100k, honestly, from the Gohan Super. But instead, we took double digits with no item effects, which is really crazy. Yeah, that's 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 really really good. Okay, so obviously I should not be letting the LR uh, Ginyu Goku take any attacks. So we're gonna put him in the first or in the middle slot with no attacks. Let's pop a Nicarus once again, and. Uh, Obviously, we're gonna go for the Vegeta with Ginyu, okay, and then we'll go for Goku with uh, Ginyu Goku, and we can still get a super for Birder here. Let's go for Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I mean, I know we have Icarus active, but still, like, that's... Some really impressive tanking, which really makes me think that, like, this stage was designed um, without, you know, the Extreme Sea Awakenings as a thing. I could be wrong. Maybe they just uh, wanted to make this stage really free-to-play friendly and, like, make it really easy for free-to-play players to um, be able to beat it, I guess. But this is definitely... Definitely surprising, just um, how how well we're tanking these attacks. Okay, so let me see if Jace has any. Does he seal or anything like that? Oh, no, he's just the pure support, right? Yeah, he just purely supports. Okay, so his defense is not very good. I do still want to keep him, but that's a lot of attacks. But then again, we've been taking attacks pretty well, so I think we're gonna be okay. Ah, but what if? What if the Goku Super? So let's actually try to stun Goku. And uh, hopefully, once he's stunned, then we don't have to worry about a Super. Because I remember, the, the the Ginyu Goku still took quite a bit of damage from, uh, from normal attacks in the last fight. So we still can't be too lax. We can still definitely be killed by a Super. But there's the stun. Beautiful. Good job, Goldo. Okay, so we should be able to kill off Vegeta next turn, and then it's just going to be Goku. Goku is stunned still, so this is good. Um, yeah, I'm going to put Vegeta, or rather, uh, Yenyu in that first slot with the damage reduction. Here we go. Can't get a super for the other Ginyu Goku, but that's fine. Look at that, man. 2.39. 2.39 mil over 2 mil for the Ginyu Goku as well. And for a unit that's mainly supposed to be a support, that's quite good. And uh, this should do it. This should do it. Okay, so, so far... Um, and, and, yo, and the, the Dokkan attack is... Is, like perfectly poised to be used in the first turn of the next fight with Ginyu Goku. So we're in really good shape right now, guys. This might be the best run so far I've had uh, of the new stages, and I really was expecting a big challenge. But once again, I, I'm, I'm... Oh no! Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I'm gonna have to... Yeah, there's no way to avoid this token attack, is there? No, there isn't. No matter what I gave to anybody, um, we would have to use it, so... <sighs> okay, a waste of a token attack right here. A waste of a token attack right here. What can you do? I thought I thought we for sure were going to kill um, the Goku last turn, so we could have used it for the next fight, but... He survived. He survived. It is what it is.
Um, but yeah, as I was saying, man, I, I, I'm 99% sure that like they weren't thinking about the Extreme Z Awakenings at the time they made the stage. And if you think about the fact that like this was to be attempted with a non-Extreme Z Awaken team, then it would have been really, really hard. Like, really hard. <sighs> I don't know. I'm still not sure, actually. And not 99%. I'm 70% I'm sure that was the case. Uh, so let's pop a uh, Whis here. I feel like this can be actually no-itemed pretty... Uh, maybe not easily, but like definitely I feel like you could no item this stage relatively easily Relatively easily um, I'm not gonna try it. I, I didn't try it this time obviously because I was more concerned about staying alive, but my point is like You know we, we as long as you get good RNG as long as you like put the tanks where they're supposed to be like this guy and the the int Ginyu, you know, you put them in front of a lot of attacks and you don't get like supered on uh, like the wrong units, then a no item run actually shouldn't be too difficult to achieve on this stage. Which is not something I could say for like most of the extreme super battery stages. Like Giant Form, for example, I don't think I'm ever going to no item that stage um, until we get like some more OP units in that category. I just don't think it's like physically possible to no item that stage. Um, but this one, yeah, I think it's definitely in play. But anyways, let's uh, get through this first before I say anything else. Uh, let's go for, or maybe I should try to kill Bowser. That's fine, let's go for him with the Ginyu Goku. That's actually a ton of attacks in the middle. I'm a little bit concerned about this guy's defense. Um, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. Let's pop the Princess Snake. Extra damage reduction. Now there's no way they can hurt us. And uh, let's try to kill him. <sighs> Milky Cannon. Okay, we uh, sealed him. This should be some nice damage, okay, and I think Birder can finish him off here. Let's go, Birder. Let's go, Birder. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Birder is rough, man. Bur Birder, Birder is not my favorite. Okay, so this time we don't have any items. Uh, act, or any item effect active, rather. Um, but there's no super attack on this turn either, which is interesting. So we can finish off the Thouser, and then we can uh, probably stun him. And just give these to Jace. <laughs> it's interesting, with all those attacks, none of them are super attacks. I mean, obviously, it's good for us. It's very good for us. It's just that I would have expected at least one super this turn. Okay, let me get that stun. Oh, no stun, but he's sealed, I think. Did he? I think he's sealed. Uh, he did. Okay. So now we can go back to him. Uh, oops, I messed up. I should have. Oh no, okay. I guess we'll do that. <laughs> I should have put the Ginyu's in the uh, first and, and or the, the Ginyu Goku's in the first and last slots. That was a bit of a mistake. We should still be okay though. Yeah, with this additional super, he's definitely dead. Okay, wait, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. So we only have one guy left. Um, I used a lot more items than I had to, for sure. Like, that's that's not a question. But with the, the first attempts, right, we, we always just want to, like, be able to beat it. And then if I want to come back for, like, a no item run, I can try that. But that usually takes a couple of attempts. Um, but I gotta say, man, this, this stage was just surprisingly easy. Like, I was, I was definitely expecting to 
have some scares, man. Like, be, be afraid of dying. And that was never the case throughout this entire, entire run. So, that was definitely a surprise. That was definitely a surprise. If you guys are free to play and you're having trouble with, like, all the other stages, um, this is one that you definitely should be able to beat. I mean... Like, you don't have to spend money, right, <laughs> for this for this team. Um, everybody should be able to, like, have this team that I'm using right now. And my team is, like, not even close to maxed out. Like, look at my links, man. These guys all have, like, level 2, level 1 links, level 4 at the highest with no skill orbs either because I've been slacking on that. So if you have your team outfitted with, like, good skill orbs, with, like, good links and all that stuff, then it should be even easier for you to uh, absolutely demolish this stage so uh yeah a a gift i guess from from dokkan uh this extreme extreme super battle road can you force stage very very easy uh good luck in your runs guys that is five out of the way five down five to go we are halfway there to completing all of the new extreme super battle road stages and uh, extreme z awakening our lr goku and bulma I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.